everybody, Missy Kane here with Fit and Fun. So glad you guys are tuning in. This is going to be a great show because it's something that we all need. Um, we need to kind of work on core. We need to work on some of the weak muscles that we don't pay attention to. And somebody that pays a lot of attention to all that is Eric Andelman. Thanks for being on the show. Thanks for having me. Just met you not too long ago. Heard a lot of good things about you. Very good things about you. Let's do some shoulder shrugs while we talk a little bit. Um, tell everybody where you work and what you do. Okay, I'm a trainer and a massage therapist, and I work out of Bullman's in Bearden, mm -hmm. and my team there is called the Kettlebell Club. Fun. All right, so we do a lot of body weight training, a lot of kettlebell training, and like you said, um, my goal is to get people feeling good, moving well, Right. so we work a lot on bringing up the weak muscles, um, loosening up the tight places, getting the body back into balance. Uh, we've got some pictures that we got from... Your website. We're just going to do some easy trunk twist as you, we do this, and um, we found this. So um, you do some active massage too, right? That's right. So um, basically, what I do is a version of traditional Thai massage. Mm -hmm. So uh, you know, the clothes are on. It's done on a mat. So I work right at the gym, and uh, it's a combination of very deep massage and also, like you see, some stretching there, right. uh, where I work on my, my people there. And yoga. I was a yoga teacher for a couple of years, two, three years, and. Um, I also do some private yoga classes mm -hmm. right now, and I incorporate yoga into my strength training. Yeah, Thermia, uh, I'm actually standing on somebody there. So, uh, if people... I can't want Marie Wilson, a friend of mine, Marie Parrington now, she yeah. um, had did that, and it could be very effective. Yeah, whatever people need. Uh, there's some partner yoga there, <laughs> just for fun. And, uh, chair you know, massage. chair massage, oh, yeah. wheel travel, uh -huh. do events. I sort of do a bit of everything. And I know we were talking uh, before we went on that you like to do a little rock climbing too, right? Yeah. Been Out a, the wild Obed, close to Cumberland. That's right. From, what, what is that? Morgan County. Morgan that County, yeah. the Obed. That's, that's right. A, great a lot of great climbing there. Mm -hmm. And also I do a lot of martial arts. That's kind of my... Yeah. Athletic hobby. Okay. Kind of keep me going. Right. Well, we're going to uh, maybe not do a lot of martial arts today, but I'm going to have Eric take us through um, some warm up, some balance moves first, okay? Okay. So great. have at it. I'm All just right, going right, to follow great, you. Great. Excellent. Well, we're going to start with the legs. So okay. basically, uh, we're going to get the hip, hips working a little bit. So let's step out a little bit wide just to the edge of the mat. We're going to have feet at 45 degree angle. We're going to start to bend the knees just a little bit. Keep your abs in tight. All right, we'll pull the shoulders back palms forward and bend the knees a little bit and as you do you want to push the knees out all right doesn't look like a whole lot's going on there but as you try to push the knees kind of out and back you'll start to feel these muscles mm -hmm. in your hips turn on and just take a big breath in and out this is called an activation exercise where where we're just holding all right and again it doesn't look like much but I'm actually trying to push my legs out and back there the knees and as we hold this you'll start to feel a burn in your hips. So just take a big breath in and out. How about our feet? <laughs> yeah, you'll see if you look, my big toes are actually up, right? And with the toes up, we, it helps to activate some of these muscles down here in the front of your leg. A lot of times those muscles don't work very well. They sort of um, are kind of inactive a lot of times. So by picking up the toes, we get those muscles to work. It helps to push the knees out, helps our knee angle. It'll help you in your lunges, your squats, everything. All right, so now let's come up out of that, shake out. So here we're gonna start to work on one leg. So here you're gonna just take one of your feet forward and one of, the, one of your feet back and wait on your front foot there. Again, if you pick up your toes and spread them out wide, start to train those muscles in your feet and in your lower leg. All right, your shoulders are back, your abs are tight, and we're gonna start to pick up that back leg. Basically, we're gonna do a rotation with our back leg. We're going to bring it behind us and then we're going to bring it slowly forward out in front and then we're going to go all the way around to the side. Now of course if balance is an issue here and you're going to fall over sometimes. But if you fall over a lot you know you're welcome to just run over yeah, and hold grab on hold of something. Go like that. You can do this just as well. Yeah so we're basically doing a big rotation with the leg. We're bringing it forward all the way out to the side, behind us, all the way behind us, then bringing it back forward. And we'll do this a few times. And again, this will get the muscles on the sides oh, of yes. your hip. There you go. 
As you bring the leg behind you, you'll feel your glutes fire off. And then as you bring the leg back in front, you'll feel those hip flexors have to work up in front. All right, and let's Come just shake back. out. But if you work on this a little bit, my balance has gotten better in the last couple months by doing some of this. And I did your class at IAMS. Um, and so if you have to hold on at first and then just kind of do some baby releases, like touch something, but then mm -hmm, That's right. Training wheels type. We use the wall like a training wheel. And I like the feet part. Keep going. But I so my, my yeah. daughter has arch issues. And I was telling my 15-year-old to do some of these. That's right. So those muscles on the front of your shin actually support the arch of your foot. The muscle is the tibialis anterior. That's the big muscle on the front of your shin. And the tendon from that runs all the way under the arch of your foot. So if you can develop that muscle and get it firing more regularly, um, you can you know, improve the way your foot handles stress there, handles impact and such. Because plantar fascia is a common injury. Very common, that's right. I feel my support leg a lot. Yeah, the lower leg there. And we're really trying to actively push the ball of the foot into the floor on our standing foot. Get the ball of the foot to work for you. All right, here we go. Shake out. You can feel that. Good job. Here, now let's swing the leg. So this is, again, it's kind of a balance exercise. You can, you can hold on to something or not. We're going to get ready. We have our standing foot. Again, kind of pick up those toes, make the lower leg work, and then we can start to swing. And this can get pretty awkward, and I'll fall over a lot on this one, so don't worry if you fall over. You just get back into it, but uh, you end up kind of swinging your arms a bit to uh, help you balance, and that's kind of fine. like an active stretch, too. It right? is an active Range stretch. So this is mm -hmm. to loosen up both the quads, the hamstrings both. So when I kick forward each time, I get a little stretch in the hamstring, and when I kick back and I let my knee bend, I get a little stretch in the quads. And by doing a bunch of these kicks, we start to get things loose oh, yeah. in a way that is, you know, patient and gentle. We're not going to overstretch here. This is good for athletics. I see track teams do some of this. Mm -hmm. Active stretching is mostly the type of stretching that I do. All right, and we'll shake out that standing leg because it starts to get tired. And now we'll switch legs and go on to the kick. Doing this on one leg, too, shows you some how everything's not balanced. Yeah, so a lot of times you'll find it's easier to stand on one leg than the other, and that'll be consistent. You know, one of your legs will just be better at balancing than the other. And that has a lot to do with the, the muscles in the lower leg and the hip especially. So as you get into this, you know, you can kick a little higher as you get warmed up you can kick a little further back. And again, you'll, you'll flail your arms a bit. It just helps to balance. Good, everybody. Here we go. Shake out. All right. I feel Starting to feel warmed up yeah, there. Yeah, I am. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's come on down to the mat now. Okay, I'm going to get a drink of water in between. Yeah. I know it's important if you're I to stay hydrated in a class. And uh, we were doing an outside class in the summer, and you can pre get pretty hot. A few more things standing okay. before we get down to All the right. mat. Here's a, called a standing, uh, it's called a hacky sack. And oh, yeah. Basically, like it's another balance uh, exercise here. So we're going to get ready to stand on one foot. And then with our offside leg, we're basically going to bring the foot up the middle of the body and the knee out. So the leg is rotating there. Then we're going to go the other way. We're going to bring the knee in, the foot out, and kind of lift the foot up. And then we're just going to go back and forth here. So always focus on your abs. You want to keep the center of your body nice and firm. And the shoulders are back, so good posture here. Make every exercise an abs exercise. Just carrying on like that. Yeah. And again, this is to start to work the muscles in the hips and get them more warmed up. I have to kind Good. of concentrate. I kind of look out. And yeah. And so the the trick for most people seems to be if you pick a point, a point 
out on the wall or a feature on a piece of furniture, mm -hmm. a spot on the wall or something like that, it will help you balance. So here we are, switching feet. There you go. And if this looks easy, you've got to try it. It's yeah, not as easy as it right. looks. You have to you try it. You kids get out there and try it too. As we age, we lose our balance, but um, it's something we should be working on all the time. That's right. We can certainly make even make a lot of progress with regular training at any age. Here we go. Shake out. All right, good. Now we'll we'll get up to the shoulders. So okay. hips and shoulders. Uh, what I like to focus on. Good for posture too. Mm -hmm. Our we all need that. But you know, if you see somebody. Even a young person, if they're like mm -hmm. this, I mean, and then if you can stand tall, well, one, you look better, but two, your alignment. And you can move better. Mm -hmm. uh, so if we get too rounded, okay. we lose the ability to move. Mm -hmm. All right, so up at the shoulders here, we're going to do an arm screw. So okay. one of the arms is basically going to, shoulders going to come up, forward, roll down, and the other externally rotates. So we're going for opposite rotation in the shoulders. And think about your knees as you try it. You want your knees slightly bent. All right, so resist the urge to lock the knees. And again, as you rotate, the shoulder comes forward and down. We have a tendency to want to pull that shoulder up, don't we? Yeah. And you can also synchronize your breathing here. You can exhale as you go into this twist. Keep the knees soft. Keep the abs tight. With the abs tight, this really isolates up into the shoulders. Good. And eventually you'll get a little burn, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, up in the shoulders. Just from holding your arms up. Yep. And from kind of this ringing motion. All right, let's shake out. And now we're going to just do a, a, a variation on really a simple arm swing like okay. this, okay? And what, uh, what you'll see I'm doing is as I rotate back, my arms internally rotate. And as they rotate forward, they externally rotate. So think palms up on the way forward and sort of palms back on the way back. And then if you turn this into a swing with that rotation, you get a nice stretch in the biceps as your arms swing back. And that's a muscle group that people don't notice getting really tight. But on a lot of people, the biceps are very tight. So this is a gentle way to stretch your biceps. And it's just like when we were swinging the leg. We get an active stretch, a little stretch. I like that. Good. All right, now we're going to move on. This is a called a standing arm bar. So what we're going to do is take one of the hands and reach your opposite hip. All right, and this is going to help keep us square. So the other hand is going to come out here. And now get your shoulder blade down. We're gonna try to keep the shoulder down. So look, shrug your shoulder up just for the feel and now squeeze it down and try to hold it down. All right, and then we're gonna reach this arm back. As we do that, hold on to your hip there. That's some feedback. Make sure your hips aren't twisted. So again, we want the, the trunk and the hips to be square and just the arm reaching back. You'll feel the muscles on the back of your uh, shoulder blade start to work here. Keep your abs tight, take a couple big breaths, breathe up into your rib cage. You can look back at that hand or you can look straight forward, all right, because your neck sometimes gets tired there twisting. So you, you can look either way and you can switch your gaze there. Get a little burn? Mm-hmm. Good, all right, let's switch arms. So now we reach the other side and again, that's just going to... Help us keep our hips square. Shoulder blade up and then down and hold it down. And then we start to work the arm back. Again, you can let the head go with you or you can look out front. Keep your knees soft. Again, the knees will a lot of times try to lock out, especially when we're concentrating. Try to keep those knees soft, abs tight. A couple big breaths up into the rib cage. Get in the burn? Oh, yes. All right. Good. Let's shake out. All right. I think now we're ready. All right. 
get down and onto the mat. All right, so y'all can do it just in, on a towel or in your living room, whatever. All right, here we go. So we're going to do a variation of side plank. And uh, it's a variation that it, it's probably easier for most people to do. But that's okay. We can make it harder, too, by adding repetitions. So this is the position. You're kind of on your side. You're kind of lounging. And uh, you've got your ankle next to the inside of your knee. Here we go. Very important here. We're going to be putting weight down onto this arm. We want to set the shoulder. So that means the shoulder blade down away from your ear. So just, just to feel it, let the shoulder blade shrug up. That's kind of very lazy there. And now we really squeeze it down. Get the shoulder underneath you. Thinking of being tall. Yeah, exactly. That'll jack you up, right? Mm -hmm. And once you have that shoulder set, we're going to keep it there. And here, we're going to reach the off arm up and look up at it. Take a big breath in. And then as you exhale, the hips come up and forward. And that's the hips coming up and forward. And then we inhale down and exhale up. We're doing some reps like this. And as we try to get those hips coming forward a little bit, that ensures that our glutes are working here. So the hips will travel at a 45 degree angle. All right, so you've got some weight in your And it's hard foot. to keep that shoulder in the right place. It is. That's a keep concentrate. that shoulder set. And you want weight in both your feet. Both the feet will help. So that way we're working the hip. We're also working the opposite hamstring there. We've got about <laughs> nine more minutes. You guys are doing good out there. One more of that. Good job. And now let's switch sides. Yeah, I, you can really feel it on your shoulders. And it's easy to do it the wrong way. So It's easy to get mm -hmm. lazy there with the shoulder. You gotta really focus on that. All right, here we are. Get this shoulder set. Reach up and go on the exhale. <laughs> Pushing the hips up and forward. Good there. Get that shoulder set. Good. Good job. All right. And we're going to sit up here. We're going to move on to a bridge okay. here. And here we go. Start off on the back. And in this bridge, you want to make sure you have some distance between your feet and your hips here. And then you want your feet a little bit wide. All right, so this is going to, again, make the muscles work in a different way by doing this. So feet are parallel, and we're going to pick up the big toes like we did. The knees will come out a little bit. Let your knees open up. Last thing, we're going to push the low back against the mat and tuck the tailbone. So you want your tailbone off the mat and your low back pressing down against the mat. Your abs are working here. And then we bridge up. Squeeze your glutes here. Your glutes will work to, to bridge you up. And from here, we're just going to hold it, and we're going to dig the heels. So imagine that you're pulling your heels towards your shoulders. Dig those heels in. You'll feel your hamstrings turn on there. Mm -hmm. So in this bridge, we really want the hamstrings and the glutes to do the work. And we're trying to keep the quads relaxed by digging the heels toward the shoulders. And we don't use our hamstrings enough. They get weak. That's right. So in, in a lot of most low intensity exercise or even medium intensity exercise, the hamstrings get really left out. And so we have to really target them. Also, you can push your arms down into the, to the mat here. So now the whole back is working. Your shoulders, mid back. Keep your hips really tucked. You want your tailbone tucked here. The knees out. Open the knees and you'll feel the hips work. Take a big breath in and out. And then we're going to come down slowly, rolling the spine down. Try to get your low back down before your hips come down. Good. And just windshield wiper the legs a little bit. This is good for low back issues. This is will, yes. Yeah. Anytime you can strengthen the glutes, you give your back a much better chance. The glutes should do the most of the work and really help your back. All right, and now we're going to do another variation of that bridge. So here we go. We get ready. We're going to tuck the tailbone. The knees are out. We bridge up. Now we're going to go to a bridge with a reach. 
So one of the arms is going to push down into the mat. The other hand comes in front of your face. And you're going to watch the hand. You're going to roll onto your side and reach overhead, touch the floor, looking at your hand. Then you come back to both shoulders, and then you reach and roll up onto that shoulder there, the base shoulder. You inhale here to both shoulders and exhale as you bridge. And you're going on like this, alternating. Keep an eye on that hand so that your head goes with you. Inhale and exhale. So this is great at working one side of the body and the other side in a diagonal fashion. I like it. Good. One more there. And let's roll the back down and hug your knees to your chest, rock side to side. I like this one too. Yeah. It's hard with our microphones, but you at home don't have a microphone on your back, so you can do it easily. <laughs> All right, come on up. We'll do. We've got uh, about five more minutes. Maybe a time for one more exercise and a cool down. Okay, great. So here we're going to do a, a, a modified shin roll. Okay, so we get your leg about like this, and your arm is behind you. So what we're going to do is we're going to bridge and reach okay. off of our shins. So there's the exhale like that as you bridge and reach. Inhale, you come back. Exhale. And again, you want to feel your glutes working here. And you can make this harder. I cannot make it harder because this is new to me. There are, yeah, there are variations. There are ways to get this hard. As always, you want to think about that base shoulder. Keep it down. And then there are variations where we might come up through this. Up like that. And we may use weights to make this harder. Always there are ways to progress these exercises. It's a... Uh, yeah, you show them that way. I'm going to let Eric show them that way. <laughs> I mean, you know, and you I could, switch legs too. Yeah, go ahead. Right. You know, you could just yeah. add weight, or you could do the same thing, holding a weight, holding a weight overhead. So this is good for your core, and also if you have tight hip flexors and quads, I'm feeling the stretch. Yeah, you'll really it strengthens and really mobilizes the hips at the same time. So it's a really great exercise. Strength and mobility. I'm do about both. Two more of these guys, and then we'll <laughs> stretch it out. Excellent. And I'm warm just doing this. Great, great. All right. So we got so about three minutes. So you're ready to stretch, cool down. Okay, yep. let's do this floor scorpion. Okay. It's a it's a nice cool down. So we're gonna lay on the belly, put the arms out like a T, and. Basically, we're going to bend the knee and flex that foot, lift up the leg, and here we're taking a big breath in as we twist off to the side and let that shoulder push against the mat. And then we exhale and we switch side. We're breathing in, we're reaching the foot toward the opposite hand, and breathing out. In, out. And then after a couple reps, you can move your arms up a little bit. And this will increase the stretch in your pectoral muscles. So you know, we were talking about the shoulders rounding forward. Well, if we can keep the muscles on the front of our body loose there, the pectoral muscles. That is a good one. Then, you know, we'll have an easier time get, keeping the shoulders back. Good. One more on this side. Well, yeah, and then you mentioned tight quads, and pretty much everybody has them. Mm -hmm. So let's do a, do a quick quad stretch okay. here. And so again, they're all variations of this, but uh, the first way would be reach up and then reach back. Put your hand on your on your heel there, and you're pushing your hips forward actively, trying to keep your hips forward. Now. This is a, something you could do with a block or a prop or a, several cushions behind you so that you could reach your hand back and actually put your hand on something. All right. So if you're flexible enough, you can get down to your heel. More flexible people will actually put the hands on the floor. And as long as you're pushing your hips forward, you'll feel a stretch in your quads there. 
So this is something all you hikers out there need to do because we get too tight. That's right. Probably climbers out the open. Everybody's quads are tight. Yeah. Everybody. So push well, Eric, the hips this is forward. good. We're going to keep going on this stretch. Um, always tell people life is more fun when you're fit. This is part of fitness, that core strength and flexibility and mobility. So thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. Good job, everybody. A few more and stretch out whatever's a little tight on you today. Take another couple minutes and stretch it on out. See you next time here on PBS. See you guys.